Yeah, we found life. It either came from above or below. Okay, if it came from above, everything changes. If it came from below, which is there's no known mechanism, everything changes. Yeah. They ruled out contamination. Yeah, I suppose 10 times could be contaminated and all that. But let's say contamination's ruled out. So you either have to have a mechanism that it's brought up, like some of it was uh, plankton from the Barents Sea. They said either the waves create a froth and that froth let loose some planktons and the planktons by an unknown electro swirly process are lofted 400 fucking kilometers into goddamn low earth orbit. I mean, no, man. <laughs> and, but here's the thing. If that's true, then panspermia is true too. The, so they equivocated in it. And then the lead author, Russian scientist, TV Grabenikova, woman scientist, the lady who discovered life in space is who she'll one day be known mm -hmm. as. She was the lead of the first paper. They equivocated. I mean, it was amazing data, but they agreed. Oh, by the way, they 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 swiped the windows with a tampon, and then thousands of people commenting on the go. Tampons aren't sanitary, man. You're a dumbass. You know, nobody uses tampons. You're like, look, man. They don't go make new pieces of things to do stuff like that. They will use if a tampon is appropriate. They will sterilize it, and they're going to use a tampon. It's a little yeah. form factor that can do a lot of shit for you, including wipe the window of the space station. And they were wiping the big tourist window. So that's how we get going on that thread, for God's sakes.